Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week's video is my MAC lipstick collection video. I did a blog post the other week about my MAC lipsticks and just really wanted to do a video of it. I've got them all here. MAC lipsticks tend to be like my everyday lipstick. Um, I do really like them. I really like the variety of colours that they have and the variety of finishes that they have. I'm going to get into it. So I'm going to start off with the first lipstick that I'm wearing. The first lipstick I'm wearing is a cream sheen finish and it is creme cup. This is a really nice nude. It's really good for everyday. I think it suits a lot of people. I really really like it, it's a really natural one, that's one that I would wear on like a daily basis. That is Creme Cup. Next up is Angel and you can see how much I've used it, it's like it's literally a little stump. Um, I might have mentioned this in my empties video, I don't know if this is the one I mentioned, possibly, I don't know. Um, this is very similar to Creme Cup, oh sorry this is a lost finish. This is very similar to Creme Cup, however it is slightly darker, more of a warmer pink. I do really like this lipstick, I really like the consistency of it and how it feels on my lips. All of the MAC lipsticks have that vanilla smell and taste to them, uh, which I do really like. This is a really, really nice one. It's slightly warmer than Creme Cup, um, a really nice nude. I tend to switch it up when you want a nude, but you kind of don't want to feel like you're wearing the same lip every single day. That's when I switch between Creme Cup and Angel. Next is the Viva Glam. Five. I really like the Viva Glam range um, because the money goes to charity so it's really good. It's a really nice nude brown. It has a slight sparkle to it um, which I personally do like. I wouldn't wear it around this time of the year um, but I would wear it like spring, summer. I think it's just a really nice neutral brown especially if you're someone who has naturally darker lips. My mum has darker lips than me so she can't get away with creme cup. It just wouldn't look right. So if you do want a nude um, but something that's kind of your lips but better if you have darker lips. If you prefer the brownie tones um, in lipsticks, then this would be a really nice one, but it's still a nude color, um, so it's not like really out there. But that is Viva Glam 5. Next up is Syrup. This is one of those lipsticks that is just like perfect all year round. Um, this is much more of a purple nude. It is a lustre finish, um, and so was the Viva Glam 5. I can't remember if I mentioned that, but they're both the same finish. And this is probably my favourite finish. It's so creamy, not sticky, but still really pigmented. A really nice neutral purple tone. I really, really like it. Like I said, it's perfect all year round. It's perfect around this time of the year, spring, summer, autumn, winter. I really really like it and I can't rave enough about this. I think it's especially nice if you want to go more down the purple tone of colours but you don't like something that's extremely bold. I think it's a really nice neutral cool purple. So that is Syrup, that's another really nice one. Next up is Please Me and you can see how much I love this one because it's a little stump. Um, I definitely mentioned this one in my empties video. Um, this is again one of the first ones that I ever bought. This is a matte finish. I love it and I will definitely repurchase this one. It is matte um, and I do normally wear it with a lip liner. Like none of these I'm wearing this with a lip liner. It's just the lipstick on its own. But you can make it quite soft um, or you can go to town on it. Um, I really really like this. Obviously you can see what it looks like on. Uh, this is one that I would definitely repurchase as soon as I have completely run out. But I'm going to try and like dig, dig down in there and uh, try and save the rest of it because there'll still be quite a lot in there. That is Please Me. Next is Faux and this is one of my most recent MAC lipsticks. Um, this is probably like my current favourite. I'm like obsessed with this colour lip at the minute. This is a satin finish. On the lips it feels very there, like I can feel it on my lips. Um, a lot more but I quite like that because then you know when it's sort of starting to come off and then you can reapply it. I really like this colour. It's a really nice pinky purple. It's kind of in between the two. Um, I've worn it most days. It's probably been the lipstick I've been wearing in most of my recent videos. That is full. Okay, heading back to the sort of brownie nudes. This lipstick is the Sheen Supreme lipstick in the colour Bare Again. You can see that it looks completely different to the other ones. This is the only one I have of this. So this is Bare Again and this is very very similar to Viva Glam 5. Um, but this is just so creamy like and feels so moisturising. I think these are more expensive than the other ones. I think these are perhaps like £18. I could be wrong though so don't quote me. I really like this colour. It's very similar to the Viva Glam 5. However I find it is just more pigmented and more of a definite brown um, rather than having a lot of shimmer going through it. It kind of doesn't. It is obviously quite shiny but has a shimmer to it but not going through the lipstick. That is kind of like your brownie nude and obviously you can see what it looks like. So that is Bare Again. Next up is Cosmo and this is a amplified finish. 
as you can tell it is very bright it's still quite a deep and dark color but it is still quite bright on the lips and it does stand out and um, I really like this I think it's perfect for the evening um, or in the day if you like to wear a lot of makeup kind of similar to syrup in a way um, however this just just stand out more a lot a lot more on the lips um, I really like it and I think it's perfect for the evenings if you're going out for the evening and um, going for a meal something like that um, I really like it and it looks incredible when you have your lips aligned to perfection and then you have this on top Obviously being an amplified finish it is very out there um, and noticeable but um, I think anyone can pull it off and I really like it. Next is possibly one of my favourites for an evening and this is Velvet Teddy. I found this extremely difficult to get hold of, I had to get it at the Mac Pro Store in Covent Garden um, in the end but that was fine. Um, I really really like this, this is a matte finish, uh, this is the Kylie Jenner lip. Um, so if you want to recreate that look then Velvet Teddy's the one to go for. I find it looks so different though on the lips than it actually does in the bullet form. Um, I just feel like it's kind of like a burnt orange um, and I really really like it. Perfect on the night out, um, perfect if you want to recreate the Kylie Jenner makeup. I cannot say enough good things about this. Brilliant. Love it. Next up is Lickable and this is a cream sheen finish, yeah. As you can tell, this is extremely bright, extremely out there. I don't tend to wear it that much anymore. I probably will around Christmas and Christmas parties, um, gathering, oh Christ, get togethers and things like that. I will probably wear it then um, with a heavy eye. Even with like a black smoky eye, this would look so good. I really, really like this, but like I said, I wouldn't really wear it um, day to day. I probably used to, um, but at the moment I wouldn't. Um, it is very out there and I much prefer a softer nude for the daytime. However, oh, the thing's rubbed off. It's not good. I think around this time of the year it'd be really nice. Obviously not with this eye makeup, um, but I obviously had to pick something neutral because I'm wearing so many lipsticks. But um, I do really like this. It's very out there, very bold, very creamy. Um, and nice to wear on the lips and sits really nicely on the lips like it doesn't tend to bleed um, none of them do really bleed um, but it's just a really nice lipstick so that is lickable next is another amplified finish and this is impassioned I really 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 like this um, it is very very bright obviously because it's an amplified finish um, however I feel that in the bullet it looks quite different I mean it is still very bright but on here it just looks extremely like incredibly bright really nice bright pink but it has a really nice like orange tone through it um, I do like this again around Christmas I think um, if you perhaps have like a smussy black dark sparkly outfit um, and you want to brighten the outfit up in some way then this would be a really nice lipstick to go for I do really like it can't deny it next up is Ruby Woo and this is a retro matte finish it's extremely drying um, I like this and I don't like this I like the colour payoff and how long it lasts on my lips but I hate wearing it without a lip liner I mean it's quite a messy lipstick this is a nice one again around Christmas it'd be really nice but it's just quite messy and um, yeah this isn't for the faint hearted um, you'd have to be quite brave to pull this off I would wear it around Christmas I just find reds don't generally suit me um, so yeah I wouldn't really jump at Ruby Woo as a first option it's just quite messy without a lip liner I think if you're really out there and want to try bold lipsticks then obviously Ruby Woo is kind of like a cult classic so I would only say it's a must have um, if you're really into your reds then it's a must have red um, but I wouldn't just say to anyone go out and buy it because it's the best red I've ever tried um, yeah I mean it's it's okay you can see what it's like and the last lipstick in my collection is rebel now, i think this is perfect around this time of year autumn halloween bonfire night fireworks like i think it's just perfect around this time of the year and um, it is a satin finish so it's not drying at all it's really kind of quite creamy and this is definitely another one that isn't for the faint-hearted um, and i wouldn't go for it if you weren't brave this would look incredible dressing up for halloween um, it's kind of like a creative color to it a really nice deep purple and perfect for this time of the year and that is the end of this week's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up i will leave in the description box below the blog post of this if you guys enjoyed the video all of my social media links are in the description box below as always so don't forget if you have any beauty questions to leave them in the comment section below as i will be answering them all in a video and i do really want to film that video soon and make sure you get the questions to me somehow twitter instagram comment section below anything if you have any question no question is a silly question let me know in the comment section below if you also have any of these lipsticks or you wanted to look at these lipsticks or buy them make sure you subscribe if you would like to and i will see you next week for another video Someone
Bill Gates talking to me. Can you leave me alone, please?